I normally find if I'm passionate about something within the classroom, then the students will catch on to that. So when I presented this book, I said, you know, this is a story that it, it's going to teach us about history and geography and things like that, but more importantly, it's going to teach us about how do you overcome adversity? How do you go against insurmountable odds? And it's an incredible true story. So then they're intrigued. And then by the time I'm done reading on the first day, there's audible groans when the bell rings. And so I knew I was on to something. A compelling story like that of my father, Louise Amperini, in a project-based learning style, it's having an effect on these kids that's going to last them their entire lives. We read the complete novel, we watch the film, and then I turn it out to them. I have the students get in small groups and, and say what they think about this situation. How would they have struggled differently? Do they see themselves in that story? In the traditional model of education, the teacher is expert and I'm imparting my wisdom on my class of students. And this switches things up a little bit. It's more of a, of a supporting role. It's not the lecture, the teacher's the all-knowing expert at the front. It's allowing the kids to have a, a choice and voice, allowing the kids to talk, moving around it. It's creative classrooms like you've never seen before. So when we get to the life raft scene within the book, you know, I would mark it out with tape to kind of put that in perspective. And it really kind of hits home with them. And we put them three into a life raft. And for them to feel as cramped as they are, uh, and they're just on the floor. They're not in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> So it was something that stuck out to them as a really kind of humbling experience. It's, it's really, really tight. I felt this story would work as an educational unit because it resonates on so many different thematic levels with the ideas of hope, faith, and dignity. It allowed the students to uh, see a different perspective um, within a larger context, and it allowed them to kind of find their own voice. That's when you allow the students to say, you know, what do you think? Give your opinion on this topic. What does faith mean to you? What does dignity mean to you? What does it mean to have hope? And at the end of the day, we would kind of like reflect on what we read that day. And it really brought us together because we each got to share our own opinion on how the book was affecting us in that moment and how we felt about the book. No matter how big of a hole you've dug yourself into or no matter how many people have told you that you can't do this, that you can't make it through this, you think, Louie made it through so much. And if he could make it through that, you sure can make it through whatever you're going through. So after we watched the film and it, and it stops um, at the end and then you have the montage, they felt that it didn't do the story justice. And then when we heard there was a second film coming out, I didn't even have to explain to them. They're like, I'm seeing it. It's, I know it's going to be the rest of the story. And so then we watched the movie trailer and they were absolutely riveted uh, because they said, I'm, I'm, when is this coming out? I'm going that weekend. And because it was something to them, they wanted to, to get that justice of the story, to see that he came full circle from his struggles uh, during the war. How he forgave the bird, that just takes pure courage to just do. I mean, I can't forgive someone that just hurt me so bad, and it's, it's very, it takes a lot of courage, which really inspired me and really gave me hope to forgive that person, and I'm improving in forgiving that person. Now I talk to that person when I could never do it. This is so much better than sitting and reading a textbook because it's, a, it's tangible. Like this really happened. This man really went through this and he uh, became a stronger person through it. I know I saw a difference in my classes. After we read it, they're more compassionate, they're more understanding, they're more willing to listen to each other. We're inundated with negative, negativity, negative on the news, negative on social media. And imagine if we were just able to have that small kindness, that small positive effort. We could counter that. You know, you could have this counterculture that could fight the, the lack of, of hope that we see in our society in our modern era. And that's powerful because that's how you work towards solutions. Thank you.